Good morning, my friends. This is Paul. And today, in honor of having roughly 275 subscribers, wow, I never thought I'd get that far, honestly. I was actually really happy when I just had five, but to go from that to this, I, I don't even know how to express my joy other than this project was made with love for my fans, first and foremost. Not so much the people that just subscribed because they were my friends, but like people that have commented on my live streams, loyal people who have said like, hey Paul, keep up the good work. And so, yeah, a few of them were done because I have a very weird sense of humor. But mostly these are just a handful of my favorite moments that I happen to have saved on my computer that I'd like to reshare with you guys, especially as some of this either hasn't been shown before or I don't think it's gotten as many views as I wish it would like. I'm actually very overly critical of myself, so this is more of a way of saying, okay, these are the videos that I think actually did pretty decent, or at least the parts I selected in them were. So, hope you have a good time. Remember, I have a strange sense of humor, so if anything offends you, let me know in the comments section. But until then, have a few good laughs, have a few poignant moments, keep the faith, stay epic, God bless, and hey, again, thank you so much for supporting this channel and helping me become the YouTuber I am today. Bye for now, and enjoy the rest of the list. Hey, Matthew, you want to play some Super Mario Party? Aw, oh, Paul, I'm under all my blankets and pillows. Can't we do it another time? Hey, Emily, you want to play some Super Mario Party with me? I'd love to. But, I have loads of homework from university. Yeah, homework's the worst. Um, how about when you're on break? You mean, you're willing to pay for Nintendo Switch Online just to play with me? Hello? Jeez, he sure is stingy with his money, isn't he? Hey guys, I see you're having a bit of a dispute. Can I help? Paul just doesn't want to pay for Nintendo Switch Online. Do you think you can convince him? Just to play Super Mario Party? Oh, come on, Paul! You actually have a fan! Hello, I'm an ENFP, although I really think I'm actually more introverted. I mean, they say I'm an E, but I think I'm an I because I really need time alone to figure out if I did the right thing or not. I mean, okay, our dominant function. Uh, what's our dominant function again? Oh, right, extroverted intuition. That means we love ideas. We love exploring the wild unknown. I want to go visit Florida someday because I've never been there. That sounds like a ton of fun. The introverted feeling. Yes, this is why I think I'm an introvert because I, I get really hurt very easily and I need time alone to be able to figure out what I'm feeling and, and what does that mean? Like, does that mean I won't be able to go on all my favorite places because I'm hurt? Extroverted thinking, uh, do, do we really need that? Uh, well, I guess that means we talk out loud. I mean, yeah, sometimes people tell me I have to put my foot in my mouth. I mean, isn't that just the stupidest thing? Because apparently I accidentally flirt with people. I don't, I don't mean to be flirting with everyone. I just want to be friends, you know? I see people walking down the street, they're looking all glum, and I just want to give them a big hug and make sure they're feeling okay. Our introverted sensing, what does introverted sensing mean again? Oh, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Maybe next time I'll talk about it. Timer, you ever heard of Yonder Catholic Heart Work Camp? Nah, can't say I have. I've only been around since the age of the dinosaurs, after all. Well, Catholic Heart Work Camp's the real deal. It's gonna make you go yahoo with excitement. Oh boy! When can I go? Well, it's happening this weekend. You gotta have a t-shirt, though. Well... I don't think they sell t-shirts that fit a T-Rex, but I don't think they sell a t-shirt that fits you either. Aw, oh, well, spit on my foot. Why can't they let us dinosaur folk into Catholic Heart? I thought the Catholic Church was all about inclusivity and being considerate of other people. Well, we ain't people. We dinosaurs. And we came before God created man and woman. So therefore he created them in his image and likeness. We are just dumb animals that don't have intellect nor free will. I got free will? What are you saying? I'm gonna say right now, I'm gonna storm up to that youth group leader and I'm gonna say, what's youth group leader's name? Julie. Julie, you best be getting me on that bus to, <laughs> to Catholic Art Work Camp, you hear? Or I'm gonna storm the place down with my giant feet. 
that foot's only as big as this bubble on the Lego field. You know what I mean, Grandpa. Anyway, when we get to Catholic Artwork Camp, send a message and make sure that they let dinosaurs come to the camp next year because that's discrimination. And we can't be having that in the Catholic Church. No, we can't. But our audience, take that as a lesson. Even dinosaurs have feelings. Thank you for watching. Good afternoon, my audience. This is Paul, and this is my friend Allison. Hi! And we're going to do another Myers-Briggs interview. I am an ISTJ, and she is... <laughs> in ENFP! <laughs> a nice bubbly one at that, too. This is actually the first time I've interviewed an ENFP by herself. Although you do have a boyfriend, right? I do. Yes, I actually just asked him. He said he's an INTP. Oh, man. That, <laughs> good luck with that one. <laughs> Would it you sure say is. there are ever times when you, like, take life more seriously? Yes. Well, like, most ENFPs are known for, say, like, they, they laugh about things a lot, or, like, they tend to, like, forget stuff, or... Like, remember today, you were like, shoot, I forgot to fill up the gas in my car, and then you just laugh it off and say, oh, well, I'll do it another day. Yes, um, I would say both of those are great descriptors for who I am. I, I really wholeheartedly believe the thing, laughter is the best medicine. I am always laughing. I crack a lot of jokes, especially if I feel like there's a lot of tension. Is I feel like I'll try joking and try making jokes to break the tension. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, I get out of that situation because... I'm easily uncomfortable, so I'm like, well, time well, to go. What kind of jokes do you like to tell? Um.
looking at the first couple of seconds of what I have here and be thinking, oh no, this game is a recipe for disaster. First off, Mario's picking up a gun. And two, you've got the rabbits. This is going to be awful. And that's exactly what I thought too, because I thought the rabbits wore out their welcome well after their debut in 2006 with Rayman Raving Rabbids. Yeah, who knew that this was a Rayman spinoff of all things. <laughs> Good evening, my friends. This is Paul. I'll edit that part out later. And I am here with three of my amazing friends. This is Kara, Hello. Danielle, Hi. and Matt. And we are here to talk about something other than Myers Briggs for a change. Ooh, did what? you think that that was possible? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Did you think that was possible? No, we just I sat surely talking didn't. about it though. So. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we just spent like a half hour talking about whether she's an E or an I. Mm -hmm. And I would just say, these are an I. Oh, <laughs> yes. And this, and this is a me. So you're both but a knee and an eye. A knee and an eye. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I think the biggest thing I've learned in what, six years of friendship with you? Yeah. Six years of being friends is um, to be as blunt or literal as possible when I'm talking to you. I'm generally uh, not that way. Very um, vague communicator at times, so I've learned to be very concise and honest and blunt and if I'm running late to let you know <laughs> because if I say I'm gonna be somewhere at a certain time I'm not that bothers you. So blunt, honest, open, um, which is not my 
communication style at all, but I think that that has helped um, us understand each other better. Uh, I think something kind of similar to what one minute. Keep talking to the audience. I'll edit this out later. <laughs> I think something similar to what Kara said too. Um, just being very honest and like you're gonna say that you're gonna do something, you have to follow through. And I think having that follow through is really important. Um, also, uh, sarcasm. I yeah. am pretty sarcastic. Bring it. And boom. <laughs> uh, and I I realized that that wasn't the best way of communicating with you having like sarcastic things because kind of taking those things maybe literally when I'm joking. Yeah. So I try to kind of avoid that sort of language. For ten dollars, you are able to get an offline mode in Tetris. Yay! Paying money for something that's been free since the Game Boy. You are a genius, Nintendo. An absolute genius. Anyway, this basically gives you the opportunity to play Tetris 99 offline and without paying for the Nintendo Switch Online. So, if this is going to be more of a thorn in Nintendo's side to get them to possibly improve their online service because more people end up playing Tetris 99 offline than online, which was the original intent. Go for it! Think of you. <laughs> Just remember I'll be waiting up and polishing my shotgun. Close your eyes. <laughs> Listen to my voice when I say, I'll kill you. <laughs> I swear it's true.
of Marmukafan! The Blue Princess attacks the Blue Warrior from the Valley Lands of Markukaka! As you see, the Black Warrior fights with Burning Phoenix form! while the Blue Princess attacks like Sailing Eagle. He spins like a tornado, and she attacks like Wild Banshee. She's using statue technique. Who will win? Who will conquer Markukakan? He's down. He's weak. The blue princess comes in to finish him. He stepped on dog poop, I think. Right there. I think he stepped in that, that dog poop. But he's unfazed by the smelliness in his toes. The brown gooiness of fresh, warm feces does not faze the blue warrior. What he lacks in strength, he has... Oh, they're both dead. 
bit more go with the flow. Like today we went to the apple orchard and we were only intending to just have a casual hangout. So mm. I was Did someone say apple orchard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey audience, this is my friend Danielle. And she is she is an ENFP and so she wanted to make a cameo in this video. <laughs> I guess this has turned into an ISTJ, INFJ, ENFJ <laughs> interaction. So Testing, this is a test video to make sure that my webcam is not on the fritz. Because mm -hmm. we are sick and tired of doing so many takes. Ah! Stop it! Add a webcam! What is with this webcam? I don't know. I don't think it likes... I don't think it likes this place. <sighs> Save this one for the bloopers. <laughs>